dead. I don't see signs of an attack. Scanning the bodies could provide a clue. Black and stomach and ulceration, consistent with poisoning by sulfuric acid. Most likely from consuming Kadara's water without proper filtration. The Angara have lived on Kadara longer than us. They'd know better than to drink unfiltered water. I suggest we examine the town's water supply. Someone has tampered with the filter. The Angara ingested only enough sulfuric acid to be lethal over time. But not enough that they'd notice right away. Premeditated murder. We should keep looking around. See if we can find more about who's responsible. Quite the menu. Hmm, that's encrypted. Sam, can you get us in? Yes. One moment, please. This log belonged to Skylar Yafir, an Angara who lived here. Play the first log, Sam. More and more aliens keep showing up. They are desperate, dirty things who will pay anything for a slab of ardhi and clean water. I thought all was lost when the cat invaded, but maybe our luck's changing. Let's hear the second log. Today, I caught one of the aliens studying our filtration system. I had Karina and her sisters guard the facility. If these exiles learn how to make their own water filters, they won't need us anymore. Final log, Sam. Some of the aliens have set up shelter not far from here. They call it Caribdis Point. A band of them came today demanding we hand over our water filters. Karina and the others were able to drive them off. But I fear the desperate look in their eyes. These exiles could be the ones who tampered with the water filters. People have killed for less. That's enough. I admire what you've done for yourself and for Sid. 
Too kind, Cora. Most people think I'm crazy. Pathfinder, we are nearing Cora at this point. The exile camp mentioned in Yafia's logs. We should talk to Malix and search the area for clues. Water filters. The make and design matches those found in the Angaran town. So exiles stole the Angara's design and poisoned them for good measure. The evidence is pretty damning. Hey. What are you doing in here? A better question is, where'd you get the design for these water filters? Leave it alone, before you can't. You murdered an entire town. I'm not leaving until I know why. We came to them. Starving. Dying of thirst. But instead of helping us, those flapheads bled us dry. Credits, clothes, weapons. They took everything. Not everything. You survived. You set up here. The Angara are the only ones who know how to properly filter this planet's water. All we wanted was to be self-sufficient. I offered to pay for the designs. They refused. So you poisoned them? And took all their business. You're a monster. No. I'm a survivor. Kill them. Lives lost. What a waste. What's up? You keep sighing. Do I? Sorry. Sid called and asked if I can get her a timer, metagel, and 15 pairs of socks. That can't be good. The water is highly poisonous, Pathfinder. We shouldn't linger here. Fresh batch of Kadara's infamous home brewed ale. Pathfinder, Kesha's assistant asked you to secure some of that. What'll it be? Bottle of your hardest stuff. This is for Superintendent Cash. Make it six.
taught you to shoot, you said. The basics. The fancy stuff I got from a Batarian merc who took pity on me. She really was something. Old as the stars, had seen everything. Wish Zed could have met her. Smoking pile of junk? Must be outlaws. No, I ran into Sid the last time we... Shit. She didn't... Was she bothering you? What? No. She just said hi, and that she was busy wrangling some connections. Right. Yeah. She's investigating opening up more communication between Kadara and us. Like, something above board. Official. Sanctioned. I'm letting her take the lead. If it doesn't pan out, well, at least you know she tried. She seems happy to be contributing. That's all I can ask for, really. Hey, you two, get back to work. Take it this beauty is yours? The Tempest? Yeah, she's mine. Hell of a ship. We don't get many like her. Colt Dalton, Kadara Docks Manager. Sloan said to make sure no one harasses you. Awfully nice of her. Uncharacteristically so. You must be important. How safe is it here? Eh, safety's a commodity on Kadara. It depends on how much you're willing to spend. The port's gun-free, but murder comes in all shapes and sizes. Still, better than living outside the mountain. It's no man's land out there. Does Kadara get a lot of traffic? Since we moved in? Oh, yeah. Kadara's one of the few planets in Helios with a functioning economy. Got Angara and exiles from all over Helios moving their cargo through this port. Thanks for your time. <sighs> Back to work. You okay? What? Oh, yeah, of course. If you get whatever it is off your chest, you might feel better. Doubtful, but it's worth a shot. 
I joined the outcasts a few weeks ago. Kaidas tasked me with collecting protection fees. Thought it'd be easy. But we talked to so many people. I got the names mixed up and banished someone who paid their fee. They didn't protest it? Of course, she did. But they all do. We don't really listen. What are the chances she's still alive? I don't know. Slim. The Badlands are... bad. I thought about looking for her, but I can't risk Kytus finding out I screwed up. I need this job to feed my little brother. Our mom's still in cryo on the Nexus. He's got no one else. Does this convenient little brother have a name? Eli. Eli Wessler. I'm not making this up. Pathfinder, there is an Eli Wessler recorded in the Nexus database. All right, all right. I'll keep an eye out for... What was the exile's name? Remy Tamayo. She would have gone to the slums for processing. After that, no idea. Uh, the Warden might know. Everyone who's banished to the Badlands goes through him. 